we will see if we want to make an uh, make an optical system then how we can design and analyze analyze it by using ZMAX software. ZMAX is a software for professional to design an optical system. In, in our ZMAX, we can define any kind of system like telescope, interferometer, laser system, cavity, etc. and analyze its, its different parameters like spot diagram, irradiance, far Fourier transform easily. It gives us result near to the real world observations. GMAC basically work in two modes, one is sequential mode and other one is non-sequential mode. In sequential mode, rays are limited to propagation from one object to the next. It means the ray interact with the one surface at a time. So if you want to split or if you want to split or scatter or reflect back the rays to the component which already encountered by this uh, that radiation, then this is not possible in sequential mode. So that's why the sequential mode is ideal for an analyzing image and a focal system but if we want to if we want to de design a system with more flexi flexibility for that we will use non sequential mode in non sequential mode we can split scatter or reflect back the rays to the object which they have already encountered this makes non sequential mode more uh, ideal uh, for analyzing stray light scattering illumination for any system type so in non-sequential mode we get more flexibility than sequential mode but you can use them as a combine for designing a system according to our requirement today we will see how we can design an optical system using sequential mode of zmag first we will design an optical system and then we will analyze a different parameter like spot diagram footprint diagram fft uh, and mtf uh, irradiance 2 day layout 3 day layout and check whether their results are the one which we want from our system if we want that optical system in real world. Working in sequential mode, we will see a lens data editor window in which we will define different surfaces in sequence through which the, through which the rays will be passed and define the properties of those surfaces. If you want to work in a sequential mode then you will use lens data editor window to define different components and their relative properties in sequence and if you want to work in a non-sequential mode then you will then you will use non-sequential component editor window to define different components and the properties of the uh, properties of the, those components. Today we will design a Hubble telescope using lens data editor window. Hubble telescope is basically a space telescope which revolves in the lower orbit of earth and the scientists use it to take the images of far object and for many other purposes. So we will design a Hubble telescope here and define a different parameter and then we will analyze different things like spot diagram, FFT and irradiance and fast Fourier transform etc. First we will define the source from which the rays are coming and, uh, and define a different parameter like its radius etc which I will explain later during the design but we have to define them carefully according to our source type. After, after the object you will define different surfaces and uh, which will place in, play in the way of radiation and you in surface type you can define whether it is a diffraction grading or you want to use it as ABCD surface or hologram so you can define anything for that. After that, then the last surface is the image. Image is a basically work as a detector, which is basically used to get the result after incident ray propagate through the different optical component which we define in the table. And after propagating those, the ray will be focused on the detector to get different results and analyze. For telescope, first we will define the object or source from which the light rays are coming. So the first we will write and comment object or source, whatever you want to write then we say that it's uh, then we will define its radius as we say the uh, source is placed at infinity so its radius is infinity meaning it is a plane source and then it is there is a thickness thickness is basically that how much the rays travel after this component before encountering the next one it doesn't mean the thickness of the object it means how much the light rays travel before encountering the next component we define in the table so we can it's basically the distance between the next component and the present one and after that in the glass type you can define the type of surface of the opponent uh, of the component whether it is reflecting refractive and and bk bk7 type or whatever you want to define according to your this semi diameter basically shows that the size of that uh, component 
so it is you can define it a, a according to our your design accordingly but it does it just show the size of the uh, component you are going to place we define that our source is a, our source or object is an infinity so it is a like a plane uh, object or source so now we will define the first mirror of the telescope which is a reflecting mirror so it is just simple mirror so it, there is no special coating on the surface so we will taking a standard surface type and in comment section we will write reflecting mirror but before the reflecting mirror we will define a new surface to check uh, to show where from our telescope start or from where the rays enter in the telescope so we will define a surface which is we call a small slit which will have no effect on the uh, incoming rays but it just show the uh, it just show from where the light rays will enter into the telescope so first we will define its surface type it is a standard surface there are no special coding on that so we will take it as a standard then in the comment section we will write slit and then we will define its radius as we are taking a plane slit so we will def does not define any radius for that we will take it as infinity then we will define its thickness thickness basically show from how much the rays will travel and then encounter the next one so we will define here the thickness according to my design it is a 5 millimeter so i defined it 5 so it is a, just a transparent surface so in glass uh, section we will define nothing in the semi diameter we will define its size so basically i am putting the semi diameter according to my design you can put anything according to your required design after defining the slit now we will define the reflecting mirror at is a parabolic mirror or hyperbolic can be so now we will define its radius if you want to take a convex mirror or concave mirror it depending upon your design so i am taking here a concave mirror so i am defining its uh, uh, i am defining its radius according to that and my according to my design its its radius is mine 11.050 so i am putting it here if you put the radius in plus so it will make a convex mirror not a concave so if you want to convex mirror then you can put the radius in uh, in plus the parameter as after reflecting the rays will be reflect back so you have to put uh, a minus sign with your thickness because the rise, the light rays are coming back not going forward so you will put the thickness with the minus sign so i am putting here uh, the uh, uh, thickness according to my design minus 4.906 you can put anything according to your design after that you will put the glass type as you are taking a mirror it will completely reflect back the, all of the light so you have to define glass type as a mirror if you don't define the glass type the rays will go through the optical component without any reflection so you have to define here the glass type as well after that now you have to define a semi diameter semi diameter whatever you want to define you can define it according to your design i am putting its value according to my design now we will define the another mirror which is which, which we are calling it focusing mirror which is used to focus the light on the detector we are taking a simple surface type so we didn't take as a standard and in comment section we were defining it as focusing mirror after that we will define its radius its radius is less than the reflecting mirror because it is small in size so that it focus a light within the system we are designing so i am designing the radius according to my design and you can define its radius whatever you want to, to design but in uh, as a principle its radius is less than the reflecting mirror so i am defining it here is as minus 1.358 now I am removing the surface below surface because we do not need that. Now we have to define the thickness of the focusing mirror. We will define this focusing mirror according to that that the most of the light it focus on a single point so we can place the detector there. So according to my design I am just defining it as 7. You can define anything if you want to focus the light somewhere else and place the, want to place the detector there in the glass type we will define it as a mirror because we are taking a reflecting mirror and want to reflect all the li light from it now after that we will define the semi diameter but careful with the glass type you have to define them both of the uh, mirror as simple mirror so if you define anything else it will not completely reflect all the light so you have to careful with the glass type where it you have to define it wherever you want to define you need to define 
you can define absorbing uh, NPK semi any type but you have to be careful while defining now I am defining the semi diameter of the focusing mirror which is according to my design is 0.141 and it is a hyperbolic or can be a parabolic so I am defining its conic section value as well now at the last we will define uh, the image as a detector because we are focusing the light here and we will check the results here now I will define its radius so here I am defining its radius according to my design which is about 0.631 so I am writing here 0. minus 0. 0.631 uh, clicking uh, double click on the mouse then you can change its value from fixed to variable variable will do that in the while you draw this design if there is any flaw in the place of the detector so it will automatically change this value according to the design requirement now you don't need to have define thickness because this is our last surface and the rays will be stopped there in the glass tab you don't have to define anything because at the detector the rays will be stopped because it is the image surface so it will automatically mm, stop the light there and you can uh, check your result in semi diameter we have to design its size uh, define its size which i am defining it as 0 0.1 now we will uh, uh, now we will draw its layout uh, clicking on the layout button you can check your layout from there or you can also go to the analysis section and uh, there many options are given as you can see the layout simple rays or single point source are shown but before that we will change make some changes to define the uh, source as not a point source but a with some aperture size from here you can define the aperture value so it will uh, uh, increase the uh, size of the incident uh, in rays entering into the uh, rays entering into the uh, telescope I am defining here as 2.2 you can define anything according to your design so you have but you have to care for it should not be greater than the size of the optical component otherwise it will go uh, uh, above then that optical system another uh, important thing is wavelength you can define the wavelength which is entering into the telescope you can define multiple wavelength or you can define a single wavelength according to your design one no matter how much wavelength you define it's 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 it depends on your design now update all and now check the as you can see now that this is our design the rays are basically entering from here the small slit which has does not affect on the the telescope ray rays entering into the telescope and then after that from this slits the rays goes to the, the reflecting mirror and after reflection this rays goes to on to the focusing mirror which we define and here as you can see in the table after reflecting mirror there is a focusing mirror so on the rays are reflected on focusing and then rays goes to the detector without any interacting with the uh, reflecting mirror as we can see in the shaded layout this is the shader you can rotate the shaded layout to check it from every side but you can see here the rays which are coming from the uh, focusing mirror are passing through the reflecting mirror without any effect because as i say because we define the detector after the focusing mirror so it's only interact with the detector not not with the reflecting mirror but to con to remove this complication you can also change the geometry of the reflecting uh, reflecting mirror so we will try to make it more uh, clear so because it is here it's a little bit confusing that the rays are passing through the reflecting mirror but they do not interact with that because it is a sequential mode so it will not interact with the mirror so right click on the reflecting mirror properties goes to the aperture and click on the circular aperture now you have to define minimum radius you want to make a hole in the uh, in the reflecting mirror i defining it here as 0 0.3 millimeter you can define anything and the maximum radius is the outer radius of the reflecting mirror which i define as 1.3 millimeter now okay and update all as you now see there is a hole so the lays are after reflecting from the reflecting mirror goes to the focusing mirror and after focusing mirror it go focus on the detector without any interaction or interfering with the reflecting mirror so you can change your design any according to your requirement but now you this is the your design of the telescope now with the, this design you can analyze different 
parameter by going to the analysis section and first of all you can check spot diagram simply so, okay this is the spot spot diagram of the rays on the detector when it read so it gives you the uh, more information how the light will be focused on the detector so with that you can easily check your spot side after that you can go to an, an analysis section and uh, click the option through focus through focus mean that does zero mean that where the detector is placed and if you move the uh, detector away from the its focusing point the spot radius variation or spot diagram radiation or if you move toward the focusing mirror then the spot uh, diagram will be vary according to this as they are mentioning here with the scale uh, if you move for, move for 50 micrometer left or on the right side what will be the effect on the spot diagram so you can easily place your detector according to your requirement which the spot size you want after that go to analysis section again then we will use uh, check a uh, fast Fourier transform of the modulation transfer function this is give us in a graphical form you can simulate this as well after that you can simulate a surface MTF as well this is uh, this is in the form of surface you will you can go to the setting and click, click on a false color or change its sampling if you change the sampling it will take more time but give you a better result and you can wavelength choose wavelength according to your requirement and this give us a fast Fourier transform of the of this setup when the light rays at uh, reaches at the detector so you can analyze your fast Fourier transform without any and it's also showing the cycles per millimeter and and uh, some other uh, information about that setup now you can also take fft psf for that this showing in the form of peak you can go to the setting and check you, are, you can take the scale as a linear logarithmic phase whatever you want to select and then you can also uh, select in which form you want to check this one and you can change your sampling and also displaying a quality so if you change this it will take more time little bit but give you better result as well so now this is the FFT PSF diagram of your system so with that you can analyze many things beside that you can in line many things like this uh, physical uh, optic propagation you can check the irradiance on the different surfaces this showing the surface irradiance total irradiance at a slit when the light hit the slit so go to the setting and you can start select starting surface from which you want to select the check the irradiance or whatever you want to check so you can go to the setting so this is basically our design of the telescope and analysis analysis of the different parameters so it gives us more flexibility to check our design before uh, making it in real world so you can define many things as you can uh, see in here that as we define a telescope so in sequential mode you see they are all the rays all the uh, rays interact with the surface in the sequential mode not in a irregular manner so you can define any kind of optical system in a zmax is very easily and analyze its different parameter according to your requirement Inshallah, next time we will design something new by using a non-sequential mode. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel and give like.